Hi boys and girls. How are you? Today I'm going to read a book called Beatrice Doesn't Want To. Look at her face. She looks grumpy, doesn't she? Let's see what she's grumpy about. This is by Laura Numeroff. Beatrice didn't like books. She didn't even like to read. More than that, she hated going to the library. But that's where her brother Henry had to take her three afternoons in a row. Henry had to look after Beatrice. He also had to write a report on dinosaurs. She doesn't look like she wants to go in there, does she? Why don't you get some books from the shelf, Henry suggested when they got to the library. I don't want to, Beatrice said. Look how many books there are, Henry said. I don't want to, Beatrice repeated. Then what do you want to do, Henry asked her. I want to watch you, said Beatrice. But I have to work, said Henry. I'll watch, said Beatrice. I give up, said Henry. He worked on his report. Beatrice watched. Henry tried not to notice her. The second day, Beatrice didn't want to go back to the library. You have to, said Henry. I don't want to, Beatrice told him. But I have to work, Henry said. When they got there, Beatrice saw a big, comfy chair. I'll just sit here, she decided. Okay, said Henry, but don't move until I'm finished. Henry began to work on his report, and all of a sudden he felt someone tapping his shoulder. He turned around, and there was Beatrice. I'm bored, she said. I give up, said Henry. On the third day, Beatrice followed Henry around while he looked for more books. Can I hold some? Beatrice asked, and Henry gave her some books to hold. They're too heavy, Beatrice wailed. I really do give up, said Henry. You're driving me crazy. Please be, Henry begged her. I've got to get this report done. It's due tomorrow. How about a drink of water first? asked Beatrice. They went down the hall to look for some water. Suddenly, Henry saw a poster. This is it, he thought. It says, The librarian will read Albert Mouse has a brand new house today at 4 o'clock in the children's room. Come on, said Henry. I don't want to, answered Beatrice. Too bad, shouted Henry. Before Beatrice knew it, she was in a room full of other children. Henry walked out just as she started to say, I don't want... Beatrice sat down to wait for Henry. Hello, my name is Wanda, said the girl in the next chair. This is the second time I've heard this story. Big deal, said Beatrice. Albert Mouse lived in a brand new house, the librarian began to read, and she held the book up so everyone could see the pictures. Beatrice glared out the window. Albert Mouse also had new roller skates, the librarian continued. Beatrice loved to roller skate. She looked at the librarian. But Albert's mother wasn't too thrilled when he at skated through the house, the librarian said. The boys and girls laughed, and Beatrice smiled. She remembered the time she had tried roller skating in her own house. And then Beatrice laughed, and she listened to the whole story. When the story was over, Beatrice went up to the librarian. May I see that book, please, she asked. Of course, said the librarian.
Beatrice sat down and looked at each picture over and over. Suddenly, she felt someone tapping her shoulder. Time to go, Henry whispered. Beatrice kept looking at the pictures. Henry stuck Beatrice's hat on her head. We have to go home now, he said. Beatrice ignored him. Come on, B, Henry said. I don't want to, Beatrice said. That's the end. Beatrice really changed, didn't she, from the beginning to the end of the story. She didn't like to read until she found a book that she really liked, and then she decided she liked to read. I hope you enjoyed this book. You can listen to it as many times as you want to, and I'll put another book up here next week. Have a good day.